All right, guys, so now that we have our jobs displaying, uh, we can search and filter. Uh, we have links to the categories to pull up certain jobs for categories. Uh, now we want to add the, um, the add, edit, and delete functionality. So let's start with the add. So I'm going to open up inside of my controller, my jobs controller. And I'm going to create a new function down at the bottom. Okay, so this will be to add job. So public function add. And this isn't going to take any parameters. Uh, so this method is going to actually be used to, um, we're going to display the form and we're also going to have the form submitted to it. All right, so we need to have a test to see if uh, to see if the form was submitted. Okay, so basically we can just um, copy this right here. I guess it would have been easier to just type that out, but. Um, yeah, so we're going to test to see if it's submitted. Um, but before we go any further, let's go create the view. So view jobs, new file, add dot CTP. Okay, so let's just uh, test this. Okay, this should go to jobs add. All right, so that's working. Now what I want to do is grab from our, our HTML template the, oh, we, we didn't even create it, did we? We didn't create an add job page. All right. Actually, I, I did that on purpose. I just, uh, I just remembered. I want to use the form helper that CakePHP um, offers. And you don't have to use it. Obviously, you don't have to because we haven't used it yet. We've had forms, but we've just used regular HTML. But I just wanted to, to kind of give you an idea of just a different way to create your forms. All right. So this is going to be basically all PHP. All right. So PHP. Now to open the form, usually you do form in HTML. Uh, we're going to say this form create job okay so we're going to create a job form all right so next um, we're going to create a field set we're just going to use HTML for that that's what gives it that gray background All right, so we'll have um, our first field, which will be the title. So we could say echo this form input, and then we want the name, which will be title. All right, now let's just test this out. Let's close off this PHP block and see what this gives us okay so it gives us we get the field set the gray background it gives us a label and an input box and if we look at the source code for this you can see that it gives us a label for job title okay and then we have an input we have the name of data job title uh, the default max length is a hundred it's a text field and it gives it the ID of job title and you can see the form it also wraps it in a div input text and the form is generated where's the form huh, I guess it doesn't have a form tag that's kind of weird Huh. Oh, we didn't echo it. That's why. OK, 
Okay, let's see what that gives us. Okay, so now we have a form, the action, it goes to jobs add, gives it an ID, character set, so that's pretty good. Um, you can see that it's it's a minimal amount of code. It's We don't have to type as much. All right, so let's go ahead and add some more fields. I'm just gonna copy this here. Next, we're gonna have the company name. Okay, uh, we want the category. We're gonna call this category ID. And this is gonna be a select field, so this is a little different. We need to actually add a little bit here. Um, we're still gonna use this form input and then the name and then we're going to tack on an array, an options array. Okay, so the first one, is, the first value is going to be the type. And it's going to be select. Okay, um, now options. Now our options are going to come from the database. This is going to it's going to show our categories. Um, so I'm going to set that to categories, which I'm going to define in the controller. And then we can even say empty, and we can uh, add the value that's going to be empty. So I wanted to just say select category. So that's going to be treated as if it's empty. Uh, and I th that should be good. Okay, so next we're going to have the type, which is almost the same thing. So I'm going to copy that. This is going to be type ID. Okay, select. And then we're going to have a variable called types. And this should be a comma. Same with this. Okay, empty, we're going to say select type. Okay, so next will be the description. Description and then state, I'm sorry, city. State. Contact email. And then we need to end the form. So this is going to be echo this form end. And then in here, we're going to put whatever we want the button to say. So it's going to say add job. All right, so I actually really like Cake's um, form helper. I'm not too fond of code igniters, but I think this syntax is really easy. Um, you can plug in your options array. Um, you have your empty field, so it, it, I really like it. So if we reload, okay, we're getting undefined variable categories and types. That's to be expected. We didn't add them to the controller yet. And just to save time, I'm just going to um, copy these in or paste these in. You want it so it's out of this post, this if statement. So you want to do before it. All right, so this is nothing that we haven't seen before. We're just setting our options and getting an order of categories by the name. Then we're assigning the um, find. Okay, we're using find here and assigning it to categories. We're setting it for our view and doing the same exact thing with the type. All right, so reload. Okay, now we have our categories and our types coming from the database. So these forms, um, I don't like them squished together like this. And I also want to add some shadow to the selects like the text fields have. So I'm going to go open my CSS file in my web root style and I'm gonna add actually it looks like I already did add them 
I'm, just, I'm gonna add a margin to these. Top, right, bottom, left. Okay, so that looks better. Now for the select fields, actually I'm gonna add that in there as well, just select. And now I'm just gonna paste in some code for the select. Just giving it a height, same height as the text, 200 pixels wide box shadow okay so that'll make that look better all right um, I want to have our label up here our legend so back in the add view I'm gonna paste this in after the field set okay so echo add job listing and this here this double underscore parentheses this is for language um, it's, it'll help adding translation to your uh, to your application and it works much like WordPress where we have we see this as well Okay, so save that Okay, so that looks good nice looking form Now we just need to handle we need a handler and we're going to do that down here So we're going to call This This job um, this job create okay so you, you see that we really don't even need to write any SQL code um, cake has these these wrappers these database um, helpers I guess you could call them that pretty much do all the work all right so that'll that'll try to create the job for us now one thing um, if we look at our database, if we go to our jobs table, you'll see that we have a user ID. All right, now this, we don't want to input this. This should be taken from whoever's logged in at that time that's submitting a job, uh, but we don't have our login and registration system in place yet. So what I'm going to do is just make it just a one for now until we can actually um, substitute it with the actual user's ID. So we'll say save log user ID. We'll say this request this request data. job and user ID okay I'm gonna set this to one for now okay and then we're gonna say um, if this job save and then we just want to pass in this data request. I'm sorry, this request data. So in order to use these shortcuts that Cake offers us, you need to make sure that your field names are the same as you are as the as they are inside of your tables. Uh, actually, hold on a second. I don't have. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, company name. I thought I, I thought I was missing that. Yeah, so I mean, it's all about convention. You know, you have to name things the right way in order for things like this to work. So basically, this line is just saying if the save is successful, what are we going to do? We're going to we're going to do two things. We're going to set a message and then redirect. So to set a message, we can use this session helper. So this session set flash. All right, and then inside there we'll we'll put our message, and we want to use this language syntax. 
Uh, actually, we don't need these quotes here. Okay, and we'll just say your job has been listed. Okay, so that'll set the message and then we need to redirect. So we'll say return this redirect and then that takes an array and this is going to be our action index okay so basically this is going to just bring us to the action function which is um, the home page all right and let's see down here if it doesn't save if we have an issue then we'll just output a message and we'll say unable to add your job all right save that and let's go ahead and give it a shot test test job test company category we'll say technology type full-time this is a sample city I can't even spell my own city Boston mass contact test at test okay add job and there it is alright you can see it also has our message output um, the only thing is I just want this at the top so let's just go back to the index up here and job dot created I think we should have this as descending See if that works. There we go. Now we're at the top. Browse jobs. Okay, that was right, anyways. So we can now add jobs. Um, next, we want to uh, we want to be able to edit jobs. Uh, now, to completely have the right functionality, we need to implement users because we can't. We don't want anybody to edit a job. You need to obviously be logged in and have it be your job. Uh, and then we'll also look at deleting jobs. 